Alright, well, we are back. Um, the group has just entered in, or, or at least you're near the door uh, of, of the final room of this place. Um, Toku, I believe you were up to some stuff as the illusion is still up. You heated the metal of the armor of the two guards that were nearest to the door. Um, yeah. Can you, you can show the rest of the map there. Um, so each of them take damage, by the way. Yeah. Uh, they each take two. Oh shit, Grill! So they each take 14 points of damage. Wow. Yeah, I rolled two sevens. <laughs> Baby. Nice. Nice. Baby, baby. They each take 14. Mm hmm. That might be better than yeah. your other weapon. Let me look it up to make sure. Every, Let me look it up to make sure it's right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's a fair amount of damage. Um. Uh, there's some early spells that are good. Yeah. Oh, they don't no, like sorry. It. Sorry, sorry. One of them. So I just picked one of them. Sorry. So one of them takes 14 points of damage. Okay. And I'll choose uh, guard six. Yeah. Okay. Guard six. Um, so they still have an illusion up, right? And so make sure we keep checking all yeah. the stuff. But yeah. you, uh, uh, yeah, guard six is, is like, is suddenly confused like well it's getting kind of hot in here don't, don't you think oh uh, god it's burning suddenly and he's like he's like ah, ah! And he starts trying to take off his armor as it's like heating up um and so the, so, there, so there's a rule to that if he tries to take it off so you know oh okay well i think it won't matter in this case because okay. uh, <laughs> They don't have a ton of health, and so uh, it's it's burning through them. And one of the the shoulder pieces that's just uh, just burning just starts to melt through his body and goes through his like arm, a shoulder to his chest. He's like, oh, oh, oh. Dying. God damn! <laughs> nice, nice, gnarly, yeah. nice. <laughs> I just don't uh, care. <clears throat> I'm gonna tap Hong on his leg and say, "Let's go." And then run into the room. And then at the front of the desk, I'm going to cast Shatter. I'm following. Okay. This is like the gray area of not being in battle yet, where Togo can do like seven spells. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll allow it. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. All right, go ahead. What does Shatter do? I don't really know. Uh, a sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense, erupts from a point of your choice within range. Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on the point must make a constitution saving throw. Okay, and if they fail? I'll tell you what they do later. It, they take damage if they fail, but... Okay, <laughs> um, and so what is your spell save DC then? So good. 12. So where are you where are you casting it? The shatter in the right at the front of the desk. I'm I'm hoping to get both of them, but specifically Krill. What is the area of effect on it? Uh, six. Uh, it's sixty feet is the area of, is the range, but the area of effect is ten feet. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to hit both. You, I mean, all you right. So hit. Krill Krill's the focus. Okay, that won't hit you guys either, then. Yeah, I mean, he fails. Okay. Uh, so he takes three. Oh, I missed. Sorry. Uh, nine. I dropped my dice. So I drink. Hey! And I got another three. So he takes 12 points of uh, thunder damage. Wow. Well, yeah, okay. Get it, Bard. Uh, there's just this uh, big rumbling as. This... Well, it's it's from my voice because it's shattered, so it's like a. Ah! It <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, fucking rad. Um, and he's confused because he watches one of his guys get like melted by his own armor and die on the ground, <clears throat> and then uh, 
through a closed doorway, as far as he understands. A, a gnome run through, <laughs> like phases through the door. <laughs> just yelling at me. I'll go, yes, I'll go I... <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we're in a battle here. Uh, you did how much damage? 12? Uh, yeah, 12. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're like, nah! and he's like, Aah! and he's like shaking and like his, his bones are vibrating and the death, like break, one of the legs breaks off in front of him. And he's like, and he's, you can see like electricity somehow, uh, evidently <laughs> off his spot. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to say before we do initiative, like, he's like, who are, what are you guys, what are you guys doing in here? Um, I can. Oh well, yeah. Uh, it's just Togu, right? I guess everyone. Else... Oh, it's Ong with you. It's me and Togu. Uh, I me and Ong. Behind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we uh, know? So that's crazy. Oh, so talking to the two of us. Yeah. Is... Why? What? You... What is this? I'm gonna uh, look back at Ong and look at him to try and lift me up. Give him another like, hey, hey. I got you, buddy. And I just, uh, I kind of pick him up on the palm of my hand uh, so he looks a little bit more regal. Can we all walk in? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kind of. We are here to revenge a member of our party. I feel like you would recognize her. Hey, Ooh, Joey. I have a fucking entrance. <laughs> I'm glowing. There's some wind behind me. My fangs come out a little bit more. Music from Tokyo Drift is playing. Do you think? Says <laughs> Tokyo. That one. Does she, does she um, look familiar Kamuya! to you? Yeah. Exactly. And I just want to clarify that the the other the other guard sees all six of, well seven. Of, <laughs> yeah, I love that. He's just... all six of you walk in, and he's like, oh, he's holding the spear, and he just like drops it and backs off. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's that's what we thought. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Krill, is that correct? Yes, that is my name. Do you recognize this wonderful woman? Um, and he like looks at Ong. He's like, I've never seen such an attractive female. I what meant. About... I meant this. <laughs> looks <lady> at Ong. <laughs> I point at fucking. Damn, she fully. <laughs> um. Oh, this Does the name oh. Oddlings Orphanage ring a fucking bell? Oddlings Orphanage. And um, you see him like tapping his fingers against his chin. And um, like he's really thinking for a while. And uh, he's like, oh. uh, while he's doing this, I want to bark at the other guard to see if I can get him to go away. <laughs> 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 Also, there's like two animals, <laughs> an alligator yeah. and a tiger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are, Are those just dogs? like rugs? Are, yeah, exactly. Statues. <laughs> you guys, you're barking. You're barking. Your taxidermy. Yeah, I did like a ah! like, like one DMX. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh! and he like immediately falls <laughs> over. Jim the like Dual Man Taylor. Can I? Uh... Can I jump on this oh, guard's oh, chest oh, 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 with like oh, 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 a dagger and say, "Give me all your money in your pockets, buddy"? <laughs> I just, I just want to be trolling my like, boat tagline. <laughs> buddy. Wow, we came in aggressively. <laughs> yes, Give us your money. Um, <laughs> your money You're buddy. dead. <laughs> but it was almost You're sweet. You're dead, like, buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> like a video of that one kid. You're my special friend. You're my friend. <laughs> me as a child, for sure. <laughs> Special friend. Um, yeah, I mean, you jump on him, and and he, and he's like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, take take it all, and he gives you ten gold. Sweet. I like for I like further with my tail, reach into his like pockets to make sure there's nothing else. Yeah, I mean, um, he got, he gave you all of his money. Yeah. Sweet. I just like pocket it. I'm just like, wow, real cheapskate, huh? Job doesn't pay enough. Fingers, uh, I, you're working with a real scumbag. 
I have a, a lot of debts. I've been making a lot of payments to, uh, to, to pay off. <laughs> I, I, I married into a lot of debt, and, and it's been. Oh, really, I, this isn't. This is maybe isn't the time or place, but I, I gave you everything I had. I won't be able to feed my children tonight. I turn to him <laughs> and I just say, "Fucking marry up next time." God damn! And I turn to Krill and I just, I just like to say to Krill, like, "Are you, are you gonna fucking, are you gonna answer to this piece of shit?" And he, he, he's going through this drawer on the other side of uh, his, like, desk table area, um, and he pulls out this paper. He's like, Odd Things Orphanage. That's right. And you see him um, grab his, like, monocle <laughs> and start going through. It's Monopoly only funny because it's me doing it, yeah. Um, and you know, how he puts it? it on his bad eye. His eye, the bad eye. <laughs> he starts searching through this, uh, this paper. He's like, ah, yes. Oddlings Orphanage. Uh, an unfortunate result, but uh, something that must be Result done. of what? Well, uh, to serve the master. And who the fuck's your master? Well, I don't know if I could tell you. As he's saying that, Ong would like to just walk around to the side of the table. Um... And get ready to fucking hit him if he needs to. Okay. Yeah, Tak yeah. wants to walk around to the other side. I'm, I'm still. Uh, and he's gonna pull out sailors like remorse. The height difference on both sides. So Tok will look up and then down. <laughs> I'm still behind Togu, just kind of like twirling my bow staff. Oh, I need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um. Yeah. So you guys are on each side of him. Yeah, um, it's morphing time. And- he looks at both of you. He's like, "Well, I, uh, I've done what the master has asked of me. Uh, he, there were apparently uh, another servant of my master, Carlock, uh, needed help removing any obstacles, and um, I, I followed my master's wishes." Can I cut off like three or four of his fingers real Thank quick? You. Like, uh, is his hand on it on his desk at this point? Um, I think his hands are like here. Uh, can I'll just take Perfect. off like a, I'll just, I'll just yeah I'll just take off a hand or I'll just swing for the wrist. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. so... <laughs> cool. I'd like to say stop being so fucking vague. <laughs> As I do it. Retweet. Okay. Yeah. I feel that. bad for taking that guard's money, and I'm just like. Ah, uh, you have really had to hit me with the I am poor sad story. Okay, here's your money back, and here's some money from your other friend who's asleep. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice of you. I'm just like, you should probably get out of here before one of us accidentally kills you. Uh, ab- ab- absolutely. And you, you see him stand up and just take off running. And then the spider wakes up and he dies. <laughs> I tried. I tried to help him. <laughs> Anytime I help someone, they end up with like a talking sword, or <laughs> uh, <laughs> they end up dead and reincarnated into a goblin. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to do an attack roll? Sounds yes. Like me, both instances. <laughs> uh, fourteen to hit. Okay. Yeah, he's staying here like this. Are you using your axe? Yeah, I want to use Heather. I just want to. I and I, I, I don't need much force. I just need to fucking lop off a couple fingers, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you take off this whole part of his hand and you Fine. Of fingers, and you just like stab through it, like with the the front of your axe. They just yeah. tumble off. And, and I'd just, like to say, like, ah! Ah! <laughs> would you I like swipe... to be a bit more ah! fucking cooperative? <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm gonna like swipe his fingers off the desk. Why the hell did you have to kill children <sighs> and my whole family? What I kind hate. of fucking monster do you fucking serve? I, I hand him a rag so he doesn't bleed out so quickly. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. like trying to hold it together. Garlock Car- was... He needed more patience for his experiments. He was on Is a that break. what's going on down monster. here? No. But I... Well, uh, no. Carlock, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, buddy, but Carlock's dead. Also, who's been doing the experiments if Carlock's dead? There's been 
I, I, I could, <coughs> I could possibly tell you about what's happening here. But you got a fucking cold, and I'd like to take a health potion and fucking <laughs> splash it on his fingers. Be like, wake the fuck up. Okay, they like heal. And he, he's like, <laughs> oh, <sighs> nubs. <sighs> yeah, next like, is your <laughs> dick. I got a, a bunch of dicks in my inventory. Next is your dick. <laughs> I'm still spinning my bow staff behind Toku. <laughs> Singing Darude yeah. by Sam Storm in your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, he turns to you. I, I, I dare not speak my master's name, but uh, certainly his 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 control reaches everywhere. There's nowhere where he isn't. He's most likely listening now. Master, Santa. help me. I'd like to uh, skin his arm. I'd like to skin the skin off of his arm with Heather. You just want to like, you just want to grab the skin off his arm like in no, Silent I'd Hill? I'd like to take Heather and like filet off, fish like his fucking arm real quick. <laughs> filet fish Do you want me to grapple you him? Off, you take off his I arm. Want. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. Make it a teamwork thing. A team. Yeah, hold his arm on the desk. Yeah, like hold yeah, it up. There we go. And I just kind of fucking shink. Yeah. yeah. This is brutal. Cool. I, I, um, and I'd like I'm to like, say, I'd recommend and I'm horrified you watching name. this. Like, <laughs> may, <laughs> getting this blood all over you and shit. I'm trying not to puke, but I'm trying to stay strong. I'm only a 13 year old boy. <laughs> yeah. You're I'd like to say, I would like, recommend you you tell us his name if you could. Yeah. As you're like peeling back the ski, like, ah! 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 Um, yeah, as you like attempt not to vomit. I. I can't say it. I can't. I cast, I cast command on him. Tell us oh. his fucking name. Didn't you already use command? Can you use it mm -hmm. twice? Yeah, because yeah, it's just one lot. of my spells. Yeah, nice. I'm, yeah, running out. <laughs> um, yeah, getting low on slots now. Um, <laughs> it, he's like, ah, oh, his name. <laughs> it's Greald. That's right. I forgot to write it down. Oh, th thanks. <laughs> you see, Eric just pull out his notebook. <laughs> yeah, and I'd like to stop oh, scaring him at that point. I and, really uh, do for... like the thought of you saying that in character. As you're, like, I... Slowly shredding this That's guy. That's what it yeah, was. That's, that's what I'm saying. I, I'd like it's to so also pour some healing potion back on his arm and just say, I'm sorry about all that. We just needed some information and you, you were fucking being feisty, so... Um, yeah. you got any bottle caps? <sighs> no. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm do you still, have any money? I'm still over here swinging my, my, my bow staff. I'm like, so, guys, are, I mean, Jolie, are you going to get some vengeance or what? What's the deal? Yeah, I want him to walk out and wake up that fucking spider. Oh, uh, do you want to like... I? We could like throw him out there real hard and then close yes. the door or something. Yeah. Oh, I'll cast hold person. I'll use my second. Sh should we get spell. like keys? Should we get keys the fuck out of here first or? Yeah, let's bring him in by the spider. I'll cast hold person on him and then we can run the fuck out and he has no other option but to get eaten. Okay, uh, Krill, do you want to uh, do you want to give us the keys <laughs> to this <laughs> so we can get the fuck out? Of here? Yeah, we should probably check out his desk and shit. We're going to need well, all the evidence we can get on this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Should, um, sh oh, hey, sorry. Uh, should we should we maybe take him to, like, a, the law or something? Would that be wise? Hey, Adrian. I feel like, I feel like Joe Lee should be the sand? one to decide. Yeah, Joe Lee, it's your call. If we take him to the Oh, yeah, there's green sand, too. It's, oh, shit, that's right. Oh, yeah, do you know hey, anything about the... Actually, you guys actually see several uh, large bottles of green sand all around his office. Oh shit! You guys, can I can I can I walk up to one of them and grab the jar and like go? Hmm. You seem to be really interested in this green sand. Um. Hey, hey, Adris, don't you have that? Uh, don't you have that cool, um, you know, mechanism that we use that we yeah, got from that guy? I yeah, uh, we, got, we 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 haven't filled it, filled it up with blood yet, though. I know where to get some. 
<laughs> that's a ooh, that's a good I point. Hold up Maybe Krill's put... arm. <laughs> hey Krill. So you're gonna tell us everything you know about this green sand, okay? Uh, of course. Um well the well, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, so Carlock, Carlock was 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 experimenting, uh, tr- trying to create create ether magic, a- and and oh, he did uh, it. There's several, yeah, there's several ways to, to do that, and and it's reacting. It, I, I don't understand it, but it's reacting different here. Uh, it's it's Re- creating, different how. It, I'm not the. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I really. I don't know. Okay. Well, what do? You, what is the green sand? Is it part of it? Pulls his arm away from tech. It's. It, 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 it's it, it's created by ether magic. That's that's all I understand. It's 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 not magic. It's it's something new. Something that's. Is it creative. what's making the the bugs big? Is it making the bugs big? It could be. What the fuck, Krill? Is it... Okay, all right. You don't know shit, Krill. I am super disappointed in this guy, you guys. Let's dig through his shit, see if there's any, like, journals and whatever, and maybe, maybe, like, maybe, like, his logs. Find his financial logs of, like, trading and find all of his shit trades Ooh. that have been, like, I'm gonna, evil. I'm gonna crawl up onto his table. I'm gonna pull out Swivel and put it right underneath his chin and say... Why should we let you live? I, 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 I just I serve the master. I don't I don't make the decisions. <laughs> That's we not a good. We don't. We. Hey, I got it. Okay. We don't know who your master I just is. I'm twirling my staff. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we have no idea who your master is. We have no idea what this dungeon is. Oh, Wait, I think I know who it is. I know. All that I know is that there are six of us, seven of us, who knows? There are seven or six to one people down here that are ready to fucking end your life. Unless you give us information that would make any of us want to let you live. So it's up to you, Krill. I mean, ultimately, he did kill all of... Jolie's family, so... Yeah, it's totally Jolie's call. We yeah, Jolie's on. calling this, guys. A life <laughs> for, you know, several lives. That seems pretty even. I think our first... Our number one thing is that this dungeon place is filthy, and it's wretched, and it's fucking terrifying. So I think, number one, we have to make sure that this fucking embassy gets shut the fuck down before oh, more we'll people shut it get down. hurt. Light it up. Yeah. Who wanted you to make all these experiments? All these like creature people. Well, so you, you guys, I don't remember. I don't remember for? when, when, but I don't remember when it happened. But whenever we were fighting Carlock, uh, this guy, this guy Greeld, he came up before. I don't remember. But I think that's that's the big evil dude. In fact, didn't we hear his voice whenever Carlock died? He was super pissed with us. Oh yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, when did you start? When? How did you meet Grill? I, 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 I can't speak of him. Okay, you don't have to say his name. Where did you meet that guy? Well. He controlled a lot of the trade routes. He's he's a wealthy man. And being a noble from Kalak, I needed to create some new way of creating income. And right, I had an import business, and he helped make that happen. And in exchange, I had to work for him. Okay. Well, how long ago was that? How long have you been doing this? It's been a, a, a long time. And as you guys are talking, um, this uh, you guys can hear some weird smell, and it's it's like it's like a burning of, of flesh. And he he starts to look around, and he's like, "Master, 
No! Help me! D d don't leave me! And uh, you see this flame start to come up his right leg um, and start to take over his body. And he I starts back away. to along, cut his leg off real quick. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Do you want me to roll an attack on it? Before, it like, I just want to get it before it, like... I want to amputate Holy... before it. Okay, let's do a roll then. Um, let's... Uh, just roll a d20. Uh, 12. I mean, just 12. Cool, great. Um, yeah. You cut off his leg, like, right at the, like, the top of his thigh. Um, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> nice. like, it was maybe like a couple inches from reaching that, and you like cut it off, and he's, he's I'd just like, like ah! pour the the rest of my healing potion on it. Yeah, and it seals, I guess, is what potions are doing right now. <laughs> I guess uh, sealant. Yeah, nice. And, and, if anybody's gonna and, kill this bitch, it's gonna be Jolie. <laughs> Indeed. I'll do it. Um, and his leg. But I guess he's still getting fired. The remainder of his leg falls to the ground and is continued to burn um, into ash, like, and eventually just disappears. I'd the, like to put some of the like ash so in cooking. a vial and put the vial in my pocket. <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> you guys hear a voice. Um, I'm gonna change something. While you do that, I just want everyone to know that I wrote vial of uh, Krill's leg ashes down in my inventory. <laughs> leg ashes. Leg I'm gonna I'm gonna pocket that that jar of green sand that I picked up. Okay. You guys, you guys hear a voice, um, and it says, "You dare to find me." And you turn around, and you see this giant spider, um, but it's like <laughs> to the side, and it's it, just beyond the doorway. Um, yeah, we can we can move it over there. Look at that. So it's just beyond the doorway, <laughs> and it's it seems <laughs> off. It seems like it's off a little it's bit, like off. something's wrong. Like it's awake, and then it keeps like falling asleep. And waking up again, um, and you just hear this this voice. You will pay for interrupting my plans. Um, can I run over and so, close the door? I. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. Just slam it in his face. I'm just yeah. absolutely. I just slam the door, and I'm just like, <laughs> well, I. I think it's time we leave. Uh, <laughs> we have to go through that door. I'm, I, I'm still I know, swinging my bow. Like, oh, we come back. Oh, bye. Uh, Maybe yeah, so it wasn't you, real. <laughs> you slam the door, um, and you just see the door like shaking, like as if there's like a storm on the other side, and it's like almost about to look like it's going to explode, and then it's just peace. And then as soon as it feels quiet, you see the door come off its hinges and fly and just decapitate Krill. Oh, damn it. God damn it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jolie. Let's kick some spider ass. <laughs> you know, when honestly, you guys... it's okay. I don't want my hands to get bloody by his fucked up body. You could go yeah, slap him. That's all that matters. Yeah, you just fuck his corpse oh, up. Cut off his pe cut off his penis. I hey, cut off his penis. Uh, would you like to hang on to this penis, Jolie, or would you like me to put it in my pocket for a time? Put it in your Maybe pocket. Maybe that should we'll wait until after the ceremony. fight. No. Nah. Hey, hey, DM. Yeah. I was standing on the table. Ah, well, then we shall make a roll unless you don't want to dodge it. No, I... I for sure want to dodge it. So <laughs> that's what, very, that's what, very what honest of you, Kogu. What kind of role do you want? Some D &D BDSM. Uh, <laughs> Hurt me, like... DM. <laughs> <laughs> Give me pain. <laughs> Let's do athletic. Okay. Pain, daddy. <laughs> we should get, I'm going to get Austin a shirt. I got a 15. That. <laughs> 15. Yeah. 
you 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 notice it flying at you, and you jump over it, and you trip, and you fall onto the ground. Uh, but it does not take you with it, and you just see this door that makes like pin of like as it impales. Uh, Got it. Guy. Yep. Um, you guys look back to the door, and you don't see the spider. You see nothing. Oh. Yeah. Guess we don't well, got a fucking spider up. Can I loot the room? <laughs> nice, my plan worked. Yeah. So right? let's go through. Just what close you the door. <laughs> um. Yes. So I would say that there's about six hundred gold in this place. Um, about three hundred gold in his pocket in his pouch, and then there's another like couple hundred gold bags. Uh, you know scattered throughout and on tables um there is also i mean yeah you can see in the corner of the room there's some gold and stuff there's uh some really nice like, <laughs> it's like fruity uh, pebbles <laughs> yeah there's fruity pebbles in the corner mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> lucky charms <laughs> there's a lot of super nice wine um like crazy expensive oh, I'm wine stealing some of that. maybe worth like you know a uh, 100 150 gold per bottle i'm gonna say there's about 12 bottles um, and then there's also some animal skins. There's a whole alligator animal skin and a whole leopard animal skin. Um, under you guys. Go ahead. No, I was just. Uh, never mind. I didn't realize you were. Okay, well, go. Um, <laughs> and then he has that drawer. Um, going through the drawer, you guys find uh, article after article of evidence of um, illegal trading happening, illegal importation. Um, and then uh, it's a couple separate folders that talk about um, like the process of combining animals um, using ether magic. And um, nice that, that Krill Krill had discovered a different way to um, use ether magic. Instead of sacrificing lives, um, he could use current like living. Uh, patients to combine them into one and still access ether magic. Um, and uh, and then you also find several like receipts and different things that signify um, different jobs that were done and letters that were changed to terminate issues, including a letter that Krill signed to take care of Oddlings orphanage. Well, guys, it looks like we have all the evidence we need to, uh, you know, clear our names of all the stuff that we've done. Hey, can uh, can you guys grab me some some bags of gold? I want to look at the bottles of wine and grab the, from like Togu's experience with uh, liquor and wine and the whole thing. I want to grab the three best bottles of wine that are there. Okay, so let's say, uh, I think I said they're 12 bottles. So I'm going to just distribute it this way. But Togo, you can have the, the first pick since you brought it up. You guys are all going to get 100, 100 gold. Okay. Right? And each of you getting two bottles of wine. All of them are worth 100 gold each, except Togo's are worth 150 each. Okay. And, I, and did I get two or three? Two. There's only okay. 12 total. Okay. Yeah. Split it evenly. Yeah, um, got it. Yeah, let's change songs. It's a little repetitive. Um, yeah. So you guys... Uh, yeah, I mean... How, how do you feel, Jolie? I mean, I think... I'm kind of just, like, staring at Krill going through all like the images in my head of the oddlings orphanage and and all the little kids and my parents and I'm ready to get the fuck out anxious um, I uh, okay. I popped the cork on mine and I offer some to Jolie and I was like you did it we did it and I uh, take a swig and I just go uh how do you feel? Did it make you feel better? I mean, knowing that we're going to 
to share what this wretched place has done and we're gonna bring light to that and you know maybe save some lives and halt these plans that this fucked up person is doing i feel good about that i'm glad he's dead because that means he'll stop fucking up other shit but it doesn't mean that my friends come back or my family or those kids but I think this is really the only thing we can do to provide some closure. So I feel good. A little weird, but good. We're gonna fuck up that grapple character too. Sorry, Eridris. Eridris is crying a little bit. He's like, well said, well said, Jolie. Um, (laughs) So I think we have everything we need here. Do you guys, shall we get out? Yeah, let's get out of this fucked up fucking dungeon hall. Yeah, let's kick it. Busted. All right. Okay, so, so, oh, go ahead, Austin. What's up? I was just gonna say, yeah, uh, we should uh, we should avoid the spider. So, like, s- like s- sneakily, like, <laughs> Sneak. like just aware of, hey, a spider might jump out. Rat. I'll, yeah. I'll go first. I'm right, so. on his six. Ong, I'm on your six, buddy. <laughs> got you, bud. I got I got my staff out. Six on your side. Um, a couple of you guys stick your head out the door, and you just, you don't see anything, you don't sense anything, and you feel like, and you feel like it's, um, like there's nothing there. On the other side All of the right. room, you see, uh, you see Jed, Jeb, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremiah, Joaquin, Jack, <laughs> you see Jack, Joseph, and, um, and Mud, and you guys all make your way out of this dungeon. Um, or this basement, really, this this weird place that you were in. We fast travel. Yes, you guys do that, um, and you come through the the front of the the building, past the the teller who had given you so much grief earlier, um, and if we call it a teller, the person working the the front of the uh, embassy, and. He watches <laughs> yeah. um, as you all come out and sees Togu and Ong, and he just immediately like, "I'm, I'm sorry." As you pass through, and you open the door and go through, um, and you walk out to the front door of of the embassy, um, and you look up to the sky and you see this massive uh, zeppelin starting to land on the outskirts of town, and just as what? it lands. That's the end of session 15. <laughs> hey! hey! Session, session Wait, what's 15. a Zeppelin? Sorry. It's a uh, I think a blimp, kind of. Oh! A fantasy blimp. Yeah. <laughs> Damn! And thank you for watching episode 16, making sweet, sweet sacrifices. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday at 6.30 MST. And we will see you guys next week. Appreciate you beyond the week. Woo!